Chatbots, also called bots, are not meant to replace human beings. They are meant to augment them. Chatbots really have the advantage from the company perspective that messages going out in response to simple inquiries are consistent, they're totally managed by the company, and they're not subject to the whims of human emotion. Unlike people, a bot never gets emotional or says anything out of line. Bots respond correctly to most simple inquiries. And another beauty of chatbots, by the way, is that they scale quickly. You just need to have the capacity that you can add to, make, to have more of them available. Chatbots are available 24-7, 365. Unlike people, a lot of whom seem to have a habit of sleeping at night and taking vacation and things like that. So for many organizations, chatbots are the first point of contact for customer care or simple customer inquiries. There are fundamentally two different types of chatbots. Rule-based chatbots or directed chatbots are very popular because of their low price and simplicity. They're structured and they use predefined rules to manage the conversation. However, they lack flexibility in how they respond to questions the user asks. This is where the other type of chatbot shines. AI or NLU chatbots can carry out a, a semi-human conversation within certain limits. Um, these types of bots use deep learning to extract the context of user input, hence the term natural language understanding chatbot. They grasp what you want, and they give you answers based purely on their interpretation of human language. NLU bots work well for companies that have humongous data repositories and deep pockets. Although they take a long time to train initially, they do save a ton of time and money in the long run. In addition, the user experience is a lot closer to human-like communication over directed chatbots. And that might even increase the acceptance of the NLU chatbot. They can carry on a conversation with your customers. They can entertain. They get the visitor involved. And obviously, they increase lead generation. If you've ever chatted with, uh, well, the A lady whose name I cannot say or she'll interrupt this presentation, or Siri, Lewis, Cortana, Google Assistant, or similar apps, you've interacted with AI chatbots. They have platforms like Google's Dialogflow, IBM's Watson, uh, Amazon's Lex, or Microsoft's Lewis and a lot of others. All the big players actually provide services for other companies to use their AI-based NLU chatbots. Now, a drawback of NLU chatbots is, first off, the huge amount of time and data they need to analyze to be able to understand the complexities and nuances of human language within the constraints even of a clearly defined domain like banking. Paying attention, ITBAs, there's another job for you. Another disadvantage is that NLU bots can get easily confused. They not only uh, learn human language, but they need to interpret that language in context. And they need to react in culturally appropriate ways. If you mess around with an NLU chatbot a little bit, you can get them confused in a heartbeat, even if you don't intend to. Now, because they learn by analyzing existing data, AI bots can become unintentionally biased. A major retailer recently discovered that, uh, that uh, their machine learning algorithm they used for hiring employees was actually biased against women. Yeah. Reason? Its deep learning analyzed volumes of research, uh, resumes that were submitted over the past 10 years, and most of those resumes came from men. Uh, another one, a lending organization used NLU chatbots to pre-qualify potential clients. Learning from past, uh, going into past approved and denied applications, the bot worked exceedingly well until they noticed that colored people were routinely ranked as a higher risk than white people. Past biases like that can be just as difficult to counteract in an NLU bot as they are in real people. Now, NLU bots, like humans, only understand natural language to the extent to which they were exposed. Uh, I don't speak Swedish or Finnish or Danish because I have never been exposed to those languages. I would have to learn them. But unlike humans, AI bots cannot extrapolate intent that exceeds their experience using things like body language and circumstances. NLU chatbots are also very expensive. These bots not only just need big data, but they need huge data. You better start with a large data lake or a data ocean. On the other hand, directed design means the conversation flows from one step to the next. 
That flow has to be defined up front. It's a logical process. And once again, I see ITBA jobs all over the place. Although they're not as flexible as AI bots, th that is in a way an advantage. The visitor has a lot better guidance with the directed bot. They don't have as much freedom to express their needs or as much opportunity to mess up. These are considerably less expensive to develop than an AI or NLU bot. And uh, as pointed out earlier, they don't need big data and other huge resources. You can develop a directed bot, upload it to a website with minimal training, and it can work great. And you could get it done within a week. Directed bots also integrate a lot easy, uh, very easily with legacy systems. So if you're trying to capture information that a downstream or back-end system needs, like getting transactions to be paid and things like that, the rule-based nature of a directed bot makes it easy to implement. These are a lot more difficult to confuse. You don't have to worry about them getting off on a tangent in response to some unexpected input from the user. Directed chatbots are also a lot simpler than AI chatbots, but that means that you can't rely, uh, uh, can't do nearly as much with them. They don't interpret English or any other language. They're a great solution for dealing with a problem that has a predefined outcome that can be reached through a series of logical and narrowing decisions. Here again, you have a ton of platforms to choose from. Uh, Landbot, ManyChat, uh, ChatFuel, and FlowXO are just a few that are you know, reasonably popular at least. On the downside here, directed bots are a lot more rigid and need solid upfront design of the conversational flow. There are many things to consider, and even with the best design, they often need a significant amount of maintenance to stay current. Because languages evolve, businesses evolve, and even people change. If you want your directed chatbot to stay relevant over years, you need to monitor and analyze its usage to tweak the conversation and constantly improve its performance. Makes my IT BA heart sing again. Now, all chatbots, whether they're directed or NLU, do interact seamlessly with a human agent. This is actually the catch-all for the directed bot. Whenever the user uh, types in information that exceeds the expected requests, and well-designed NLU bots also uh, offer this option whenever they are at risk of looping or providing incorrect responses. That's fine as an exception, but think about it. It defeats the purpose of having a chatbot because your business still needs a human response, a resource to respond to the customer's need. Now, well-defined chatbots improve sales while decreasing the cost of responding to simple questions that really waste customer service agents' time. Many businesses right now have ongoing projects to decide which of the two is better for their situation. And as mentioned, there are advantages and, and disadvantages to each. The decision basically boils down to business needs and budget. <laughs> Sounds to me like fertile grounds for requirements definition. Now, speaking directly to the ITBA role, you are not the one that should be making these decisions. Your job, see you do still have one, is to define the business needs and leave the implementation up to experts who are best qualified to make the call. You do, however, have to be aware of the pros and cons of each option. Finally, there are hybrid solutions that combine the flexibility and the power of NLU bots with the guidance and control that directed chatbots provide. These will give you the best of both worlds, but they also demand highly skilled developers in both domains.